Good afternoon, it is the 31st of March. Today I turned quarter of a century old. Man, I'm getting old. Anyway, today I am home seeing a couple of friends. I'm meeting up with Debbie. You'll remember her from my Isle of Harris and Lewis videos. We're off for a walk along the Murray Coast to some fantastic sea stacks, a beautiful lighthouse tower, and basically we're just gonna go for a nice walk along the coast, maybe take some photos and take all you guys with us. Come on, let's go. Welcome to the Lifeguard Lookout Tower uh, here. A couple of years ago I photographed this, a nice long exposure image with the sun setting behind it. I'm hoping tonight to do that again but get a better image than I got a few years ago. There's a nice path that runs along the coastline which gives a good leading line into this Lifeguard Lookout Tower. So, we're just going to see what happens. For now though, we're going to take another walk along the coastline towards Lossy Mouth, look at some of these stunning sea stacks that we've got here and see what else we're going to discover. and head down these sea stacks, do a bit of exploring down there, show you around them, hopefully get some images. But wow, this is a part of the Murray Coast not many people come to. Very, very unique, interesting, but well worth it. Another hidden gem here, another reason why you should get yourself down to the Murray Coast. It's so good to be home this weekend, so good to be enjoying this area. I mean, just look at that view. There's a huge cave down there as well that we're going to go and explore. Loads of seabirds flying around. Spring is well on the way. I just love looking at coastal areas that have been eroded over the years. The patterns in this is just beautiful to witness. We're going to walk down here and have a look at some of these caves and these sea stacks and then I'm going to try and find some patterns in these rocks to photograph. Again something a bit different, again challenging myself creatively but let's see what we can photograph because this is just so unique and unusual and great to witness. is this it's like some underground cavern this is just amazing I genuinely forgot how beautiful this place was and sitting under here right now under this kind of cave looking out here to this gorgeous scene the light right now is starting to just clip some of the the edges of the rock we're getting some nice golden glows I just love being out at this time of day Golden hour, as I said in a recent video, is one of the most spectacular times of day. It's just spectacular to witness. It's fantastic for photography 
and it's just a great still time of day to come out and explore. But wow, I'm gonna go under here, have a look around, and then get this camera out and start cracking some images. This is epic. I caught this beautiful golden light coming through the cave arch. Got my friend Debbie to stand in the middle. I've had so many positive comments about an image I took of my dad um, going over a bridge at Garmouth the other week. If you've not seen it, please check out that video because it was a great night of photography. But seeing that golden light again tonight coming through that arch, I got some cracking images of Debbie. She adds some great scale to the image because she's got a bright pink jacket on as well. It just pops and it shows how massive this cave is. I am over the moon with these images. You do not hear me saying that very often. So many of you wanted me to photograph more images like that. Tonight I've done that and I am over the moon with these shots. Look at them now and see what you think. These caves are out of this world. I forgot how beautiful this place was. So much to discover, so much to explore, so many photographic opportunities. The sun has now set below the clouds. We just got those images of Debbie just in time. We're gonna head along the shore again now on top of the cliffs. Head back to that Coast Guard lookout tower and try and get some images from there. I do think by the time we get there the sun will have set and the opportunities will be gone but it's long exposure images I'm hoping to get there which is why I've got my tripod with me and hopefully as we approach blue hour the light might get a bit more mysterious so we'll see what happens as we head back but wow what a place this is I genuinely forgot how beautiful the Murray Coast was. Honestly, there's so many hidden gems in this area. So much to discover. Being home for my birthday and spending the last couple of hours of my birthday out filming this video, getting these photos. It's just been great and the weather right now is so still, so beautiful. I just thought I'd take a minute to sit out and say all this before we head back to the lifeguard lookout tower because this is just gorgeous 
sitting here right now enjoying this on a Saturday evening without a care in the world and these gorgeous waves laughing around us the sun setting in the distance over the Black Isle it's just beautiful back to this lifeguard lookout tower thing. This is where I took an image a couple of years ago. This path acts as a leading line up to the, the, the building. I'm not quite liking this composition tonight though because we've not quite got the same interesting light that I had here a few years ago. So my plan is we're going to head back up to nearer this lifeguard cottage. I keep calling it a cottage, it's not a cottage, it's a lookout tower. We've got the path here going up to it and so the nice leading line portrait shot sorted I like it the light is starting to come on from this tower now as well which adds some interest to the image gonna get my new tripod out get some photos and see what we can capture here this evening before all the light goes image looks so cool to the naked eye but on the camera it's just not working which is very very unfortunate we've got this lovely really nice light coming through from the tower which is illuminating it really nicely against the blue background of the twilight sky but like I say on camera it's just not working very unfortunate but that's what happens sometimes in photography Never mind. I did take a couple of images, so hopefully one of them is decent enough to show. So that's the end of another vlog. Just want to say thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. Mm -hmm.